Hello and welcome to a lesson on volume and surface area of cylinders. Now a cylinder is a prism with a circular cross section, as you can see here, which means that the top and bottom of this shape are equal in area. They are congruent shapes, so exactly the same. And um, in this case, it's a circle with a diameter of eight centimeters. The height of this cylinder, as we can see in the diagram, is nine centimeters. To find the volume of any prism, Okay, we take the area of the cross section and we times it by the height. So in this case, the area of the cross section is a circle that's going to be pi r squared. And then we're going to multiply it by the height, which in this case is 9. Now, we've only been given the diameter, so we really need to write down r equals 4, because the radius is what we're interested in in pi r squared. So it's going to be pi times 4 squared, and then we're going to be multiplying by the height, which is 9. So what's that then? Um, we're going to put that into our calculator. 16 pi multiplied by 9 is 144 pi, or equal to um, 452 uh, centimeters cubed to three significant figures. Okay, so I'm only taking the first three significant figures. It's actually 452.3893421, but the point three on First decimal place, we're just going to leave it at 452, okay? Easy enough, I hope. And we're going to go on to the next one then. So that was volume. Now surface area, uh, we need to have a good imagination for finding the total surface area of this cylinder. Let's think about what this cylinder consists of and how many faces it has. It has a top face here, which is a circle. It has a bottom face, which is exactly the same circle as the top. And then it's got this, this part that's curved around um, and that shape, if we unraveled it, if you imagine that and made it into its net, it would be a rectangle. So with a good imagination, hopefully we can Im imagine this, we've got a rectangle and we've got two circles, okay? And we could roll this up round the circles. Now let's have a think about it. What do we know so far? Well, we know that the diameter of the circles is eight centimeters, but if we're looking at the area, we really need the radius for that, okay? And in this case, the radius is four centimeters. So we've got four there, and we've got four there. Okay, um, what else do we know? Um, well, we know that this, this here is nine centimeters. So we know this part here is nine centimeters. Okay, um, we've got everything we need to find the areas of the two circles, because we know that's just pi r squared. So let's, let's make a start, and then we'll think about the other bits. Okay, so first of all, the total surface area We've got two circles, um, so surface area, it's two circles and a rectangle, uh, which is two times pi r squared plus a length times width, okay. So it's going to be two times pi times four squared plus the width is nine. Now we could really do with finding the length, let's call this L. Okay, so this L here we need to find, we need to think about what that L is. Okay, so let's just, what have we got here? 16, 4, four squared is 16 times 2, 32 pi plus 9L. What's the L then? What is this L here? Okay, how would we find it? Well, if we think about putting this, um, this net back together and we rolled it up, do you agree that this, this length here would actually go around the circumference of each circle? And this part here, this length here, would wrap around the circumference of the circle. So do you agree that actually the circumference of each circle is also L? It would have to be to put it back together. Okay, now what's the circumference of a circle formula? Circumference is pi d. We know that the, the um, or circumference is 2 pi r. Okay, depending, we know both of them. We know that the diameter is 8 if we use d. Or we, knew, we know that r equals 4 if we use the radius. Okay, so we can just finish this off now. So, um, so L is the circumference equals pi times 8, or 2 pi r, which is 2 pi times 4, which is the same thing, 8 pi. Okay, um, so now we can just go in and improve on this. So it's going to be equal to 32 pi plus 9 times 8 pi. Um, and so that's the width, the 9, times by the length, which is the circumference, which is pi.
pi d or a pi, okay, plus the 32 pi, which is the, the area of two circles. Okay, so just to recap that, um, 9 times 8 is 72, so we've got 32 pi plus 72 pi, which is 104 pi. And if we put that into our calculator and work it out to, um, to three significant figures, uh, we get 327 to three significant figures. And what is it? It's area, so it'd be centimeters squared to three SF. Um, and it was actually 326.725636. The 0.7 means that we're going to round the six up to a seven there. So 327 centimeters squared is the final, oh, is the, is the, uh, is the total surface area. Okay. I hope that's nice and clear. Um, and any questions, don't, don't hesitate to ask. Okay. Leave in the comments. Okay. Good luck with the work.